Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about the string interpolation, how we can use the variables in the template file from the comp from the TS code we have used right. Now we will see about the property binding. For example, let us assume that I have in the users component, okay, in this users component, let us see, I have a button, okay, so add user, I have a button by name add user. Now I will apply the class so that it will be nice to look. So these are the bootstrap classes. Okay. Now if I try to check the output here, you will be able to see one button. Okay, in the users component. Below the users component, you will be able to see one button. Okay, add user. You will be able to see the add user, right? Now what I will try to do is This button, okay, I need to disable this button, okay, I need to disable this button. What can we do? So, here what I can do is, I can do disable is equal to true, okay. So, now if I check the output, if I refresh the output, so what could be the output? Here the button will be disabled, see, here you will be able to see that I, I will not able to click the button. But now, I need to enable this button in such a way that after 10 seconds or after 5 seconds, I need to enable this button, okay. That means it should be dynamic. Uh, what I mean to say is it should be dynamic. It should be enabled, the button should be enabled or disabled in a such a particular period of time or any variable gets any data or anything like that, okay. Now, now, in, now in this demo scenario, what I want to do is I want to get this uh, button enabled after a particular 5 seconds period of time, okay. So, what I can do here? So I cannot change after 5 seconds of time true to false, right? So how can I change this one? So in order to change this one, we need to use the property binding. Property binding is nothing but we are binding a property. Property is nothing but what I can say is this is the property. User ID and get user, uh, user status is there, right? In the TS, these are the properties, okay? We need to property one variable. One variable is nothing but property. You know, we need to bind one property to the attribute. So how we can, attrib how we can bind the attribute? So now I can go here, I will write in this export class, okay. So hello new user is equal to false. For the first time what I will try to do is hello new user is equal to false. So it should not allow the new user first time, okay. So at the first scenario, so how we can use this one here? So I cannot use hello, sorry, I cannot use hello new user like this i cannot use why because so it it converts this one into a string so it expects this one as a string hello new user disabled is equal hello new user means it thinks something like a string it's true or false something like that it thinks like this so we need to tell somehow that this is the variable take the value of from this variable so how we can tell is we need to bind this one uh, with the square brackets okay we need to bind this one with the square brackets so that it will be converted so that the disabled property will take the data from the hello new user. Now if you go here and if you refresh this button, so now it is in the enable mode. Why? Because if this one disabled is true only, then the, this button will be disabled. So but now right now we are having false. Disabled is equal to false means it should not be disabled. Now what I will try to do is I will reverse this one. That means disabled is equal to true. False of when a false is true. Now, if I try to refresh the output, if I check here, now the button is disabled. See, now somehow I need to make this variable to true in certain particular period of time or any data changes or anything, wherever the logic you have. I need to change this variable to true. Automatically, the button will be enabled or disabled depends on the scenario. So, what can I do? I can use this constructor. Okay, the constructor is nothing but what we can say is this constructor function will execute. So, class every time when a component is created, this constructor will execute. So about this engine on it, we will we will uh, discuss afterwards. So remember that constructor is nothing but what we can do. Whenever a component is created, constructor will be executed immediately. Okay. Now in this constructor, what I will try to do is I will try to write set timeout. Set timeout. So function. So this one it will take like this. And after three seconds, I am giving after three seconds. Now what I will try to do? I will I will I need to make this one as a true. So what I will try to do? This dot. So you can access the properties. Here like this this dot is equal to true so about this this and all those things you can see in the typescript courses and all those things so i have discussed all these things 
So these, these are the short arrow function notation and all those things we have already discussed in the previous. So that's why I'm not explaining too much about these all things. Now here set timeout after three seconds, I am converting this variable to true. So now if I see here the output, if I refresh this one, let's see what could be the output. It is disabled. Now immediately it got enabled. After three seconds, it got enabled. So this is how we can use this one. We can use the uh, pro, uh, you can use the property for binding into the elements. And also you can check here also. So for example, if I make it div and I can use here hello new user as this is a boolean it can be converted into the string so we will check this one so what could be the output here so first time if it is refreshed it is false here so now after three seconds it converted into the true and also the button also converted to enable c so now this is how we can use for the properties so for the attributes if you want to bind any property to the attributes you need to use the attribute with the square bracket so that this attribute will be taken from the variable instead of taking it as a string and now normally when you are trying to show here like this you should show it you should use the curly braces or otherwise you can use something like another method also you can use we can use instead of using this flower brackets we can also bind like this something like div square bracket inner text is equal to now again hello new user okay now i am binding property inner text to this variable now if you check the output you will get the same output so it is refreshing so it is changed see if i refresh it again it is false and immediately turned true so you can use either this scenario or otherwise square brackets this is the difference between the property binding and the string interpolation string interpolation means you will be using the curly braces and the property binding means for any attributes or anything if you want to bind any property you need to use the square brackets okay so this is the about the property binding, how we can do the property binding in the Angular. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.